That's such a good shot. Push both hands. Well done. Now that's a ball of dust. So uh, a key thing in my case is also, of course, my prosthetic hand. Uh, and as you see, I have my hand open. That's, that's because I, I need the stability from the hand, but also the flexibility to move it around a bit uh, during, during the shot. So for example, closing, it's empty, just so you know. Uh, so for example, uh, when I have my hand like this and, and pushing forward, then as you see, I, I move, move it through the hand, uh, which gives me much better stability. Uh, otherwise, if, if I would close it, I would really grip it and hold it really tight, but then I, it's much stiffer and hard uh, for me to, um, to um, yeah, keep a really good centered uh, when I'm holding the gun. So this is much, much more flexible. All right. Okay, so Christopher, here we have a left to right bird. You are obviously right-handed. So yeah. anything traveling from less left to right, we come to a point where we hit our elastic limit a little bit earlier yeah. than our natural swing from right to left. Yeah. So here you're facing dead center. Yeah. So now what I'd like you to do is bring your feet round so your chest is at least 45 degrees further to the right. Like this? Absolutely right. So that still allows you to turn back and follow the bird, but yeah. it opens up a little bit more sky, you know, perhaps another 30, 40% of movement. Yeah. And that's going to be very important for you because you're going to need that time to develop your, the picture that's going to create the successful shot. Yeah. And even for able-bodied people, this is a restricted shot. Yeah. So I would encourage anybody who's shooting clay pigeons uh, who is right-handed and, and the bird's coming from left to right that you move your stand round at least another quarter yeah. to free up your muscles a little bit more. Yeah. So Obviously, you can be stable. And, absolutely and right. Yeah. And, and the key for you is, is it will take a few shots to find that balancing point. Yeah. Um, because of you know of your situation yeah. but once we've found it we can memorize it and repeat and repeat yeah that's nice that's really good okay double Safe. okay Christopher so as regards your feet good shooting comes from good footwork as your feet are set up at the moment it would be to shoot a very linear bird, a bird going away from you or a bird coming directly over your head. Yeah. We're now taking on a bird that travels from left to right, which is your backhand as a right-hander. So now, turn your feet round further to the right. Keep going, well done, excellent. And that leaves very good uh, positioning of your feet, but most importantly, your chest is facing more than your killing zone. Yeah. So you've got a little bit of extra wriggle room or movement room, if you like, to, yeah. uh, to complete a successful shot. Even if you've got a damaged left arm, yeah. you're pushing both hands out. So when the gun comes up, yeah. it comes up in the same angle or the same plane. Yeah. Historically, we've been a little bit shoulder first yeah. and then the barrels have come up. Okay. And when we get into sort of multiple bird shooting, that yeah. would be a handicap. Yeah. But now you're pushing both hands together, you're going to be able to get a much um, more accurate and swifter connection to the bird. Okay. Um, and that's going to set you in good stead for this competition. Yeah, that's good. So guys, uh, wrapping up this and um, yeah, if any of you out there maybe has a disability or, or any stability balance issues like, like I have with prosthetic, with prosthetic of course when I don't have any legs or any arm also holding, holding the gun. These things that we've been speaking about here today is really good to, to think about just with the standing to really be in balance and also open up so you can have all your movement that you have uh, during the, the cycle of, uh, of, this, uh, of this shot. Uh, so that is really good to think about, but also with, with the arm, of course. 
you, you, you really need to, to find a stability and a flexibility in, uh, in uh, holding um, the, the forehand of the, of the gun. So I think that, that is, uh, that is the, the key things that we've been speaking about. But for all of you out there uh, thinking about this and maybe want to try, I think the best way is just to try it and, uh, and uh, to feel for yourself because I think you will feel quite quickly where you are in balance and where you're not in balance. And also with uh, just holding and, and, and holding the gun and being in balance throughout the, the holding position as well, just, just feel it and you don't even need to, to um, make any shots, you can just feel, it, feel, feel in. Uh, with the gun, uh, and I think that's really good. And it's I, I love this. I love being outdoor and doing outdoor activities. So this is this is really perfect, uh, and uh, a good good way in these new times that we live in to to be outdoor a bit more. So I really appreciate that, and I hope you guys also appreciated this video. So please um, click the subscribe button if you like it, and keep following my channels. So thank you all for watching and hope you have a lovely day because that I will have. Ciao ciao. Such a good shot. <laughs>